is your boy the Canada back with another Zero Verse 2 video for you guys. Today we are here to pretty much follow up on a video that we already did in the past, but we did not test what was going on in said video in an online format in any way, shape, or form. And the video that I'm talking about, guys, is the video I made talking about the buff that Sans get with their Awoken skills with that first initial hit of the All Heavy. As you guys see, 1,237 damage right there, but in base form, 495. So for those who may not have saw that video, you can see right there, there is a dramatic increase from that 495 to 1,237 when I actually transform. That is more than a 25% increase, which is what you're normally only supposed to get with super saiyan blue but with this and that first hit of the all of of a heavy combo you get 1237 which is like a hundred and twenty percent total increase now this is something that is for every sand awoken besides super saiyan god but we're going to be highlighting super saiyan blue with it in this video because i do feel blue benefits the most from this overall the other one that i would feel would benefit the most would be blue evolution actually it's just that one is not very viable in an online setting like blue evolution since they nerfed meditation and kind of took that away from us it has not been the most viable skill in an online setting at all and honestly the death of meditation was the death of blue evolution as well so that's why we're going to be highlighting super saiyan blue in this video right here now with this all heavy starter it is definitely much harder to land and that is the main purpose of this video to see how viable it is in an online setting. Can you actually try to start your combos with a heavy starter online? Or is it just gonna be something that is very difficult and this buff is really something only useful in an offline setting? Because obviously when you're playing the computer, starting your combo with that all heavy is not a problem at all. The reason it becomes a problem online, let's go to base form to make it a little bit easier to see. When you're in, or when you're just using an all heavy uh, uh, starter, heavy starter, as you guys can see, there is no gap really being closed between me and Trunks, right? But if I go in with the light starter, your character takes a step forward. He basically does a dash on his own, in a sense, towards your opponent if there is a gap between you and your opponent. Again, that is not something you get with the all heavy starter or the heavy starter. That's why it makes it much harder to land in an online situation and why we're going to be testing it. Now, like I said in that past video, key stunning is a great way to ensure that you will be able to land that heavy starter as your combo starter. So for those of you out there who are key stunners, this is probably going to be something that you want to implement into your game because it will honestly be very helpful. You will be racking up more damage quickly and at the same time when your opponent actually decides to use their stamina mid combo you'll be getting a decent amount of damage off still because you did start with that heavy starter which gets an insane boost overall so again what we're going to be doing in this video is taking this online and seeing how viable it actually is to use combos with heavy starters because like i said before you're not getting that that's really the big issue and big difference as to why you don't see people start their combos with heavies you don't get that initial dash in that you do get with the light and yes it is a bit slower at the same time in, ter in terms of frame startup like look how instant that is and that one obviously there is a little bit more frames going on in terms of the initial startup of the heavy as opposed to the light so again those are reasons why you do not see heavy starting combos online but with a sand like i said if you are able to make it work with a key stun or something like that and you guys will see in an online setting how viable it actually is in a second it is something that you definitely want to incorporate and it can help over time in my opinion at the very least so what we're about to do now guys is take uh, my sand cac online and test out how easy it is or how hard it may be to actually start your combos with heavies now i'm going to do one match where i don't key stun at all because there are people out there in the xenoverse community who don't key stun so i'm gonna find out how viable it is for you guys and then i'm gonna do a match where i'm actually key stunning and trying to key stun my opponent before going in with the heavy because again that is the most guaranteed way to start your combo with a heavy starter like i said before so we're going to be doing two different matches in two different ways and you guys know when we go online we always go in strong so let's get all right y'all here we go with the first match now again in this match i'm going to be trying to let on that first heavy hit oh hello hello how did my mans hit me from that far okay see that's one disadvantage of trying to start out with a heavy hit as you guys saw right there my natural reaction would have been into just going with the light i did the heavy and i was not you know, nowhere near able to reach off of it so you got to keep that in mind like honestly i'm not going to lie to you guys trying this without a key stun it's going to be pretty difficult that's one way you can do it if someone back hits you and you can like you can sidestep them 
and make use of it that way but besides that i'm not gonna lie i have already tested it a bit online but i just wanted to show it to you guys as you can see it is fairly hard that's been the only way is off of a sidestep after a back hit that i've actually been able to land a hit an initial hit with that actually that uh heavy combo without a key stun that heavy starter is just really hard to land without a key stun because again it is slower than the light and it does not give you that that little step into your opponent that you get with a actual light like right there i would have been able to hit my opponent right there if i was using a light but since i wasn't as you guys saw i actually got punished oh come here that's an easy way to actually land it and right there you saw that Using that heavy like that is just really not viable. You can use it when you are close to your opponent and you do a sidestep and you're right next to them. You can go in into that heavy initially without a key stun, but without a key stun using this heavy, you guys can see as a combo starter is going to be very, very difficult. So if you are not a key stunner, I do not recommend using this at all. But this is something that if you are a key stunner can come in very very handy like this is something that can be very very useful because it'll just add that much more damage to you guys's hits or that initial hit which will in turn lead to more damage before your opponent uh, vanishes or just quicker combos leading to high damage overall at the same time so we're gonna go into the second match and in that one i'll actually be key stunning so you guys can see the difference oh we already have an opponent let's get to it all right, here we go, second match. Now again, this time around, we're actually going to be trying, is he here? Okay, we're actually going to be trying to key stun our opponent right here to make this land. Okay, he actually, that was a little bit of a lag. But that is the one way that I feel it'll be very viable in terms of actually trying to land this. And again, your boy is not a key, good key stun. I literally just tried to key stun him. Oh, is he troll spinning me? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, the lag, the lag. Hello? Okay, this is not a, not a, the, the best match to showcase this off of, since there is clearly some serious ass lag on what the, bro, I didn't even know that that hit. Hello, why would you even try that? But as you guys can see right there, I was able to get from a decent distance and close that gap in to actually be able to make that work, right? And again, able to make it work right there. And clearly, like I said before, your boy is not good at key stunning in any way, shape, or form because it's nothing that I've never really incorporated into my actual gameplay before. So it may look a little bit odd what I'm trying to do at this moment in time. Come here. Oh, I messed that up. Gotta get out of that. Get him on the ground. Now, obviously from right here, something like that, you can easily just start the combo with an all heavy if you are close to your opponent like that. Get out of here. Come here, stupid. And, oh, what, what? Oh, bro, the lag, the lag just lost the stat match, my boys, what the hell? Hello? I literally did the 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 the, 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 the knock away shits kicks. What? I, I feel robbed. I feel robbed in every shape of the word. Like what? Hello? That was some bull. That 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 that. Okay, I had to take a little breather right there because that was some bull. That was some of the most nonsense I've seen on Xenoverse in quite some time, to be honest with you guys. Like, usually, I haven't ran into a a any kind of lag like that in quite some time on this game. And I've actually... Hold up. Let me not jinx myself. Let me knock on some wood real quick. Because, again, don't jinx myself. But anyways, in terms of this video and the purpose of this video right here, you guys saw that using it off of a key stun, using that heavy starter off of a key stun is actually something that is possible and not that hard to do especially if you're someone who's already used to key stunning and having that in your game again it's not something that i've really ever used i might have been one of the first matches where i was trying to key stun somebody on xenoverse 2 
literally ever. Yes, I do key cancel, but key stunning is just nothing. It's just something that I've never really adopted to my gameplay on this game, just mainly because of how much complaining people do overall about it. Like key canceling, yes, people do complain about key canceling as well, but it's not nearly the same as those who complain about key stunning. Like I feel like there are way more people who do complain about key stunning on this game, which does not necessarily really make sense to me considering it seems like it's something that the developers even want in the game since they gave it eventually to Android 16 and now they even gave it to Hercule and Jocko at the same time. So clearly key stunning and canceling is supposed to be in this game, which again is why I just don't understand why a lot of people do have issue with it. But like I said, the main purpose of this video was to really showcase how or if I guess you could say that this buff, if it is possible to be used in any way that is viable, online like is this buff actually useful in an online setting and again you guys saw with a key stun if you are trying to key stun your opponent you definitely can start your combos with that heavy right there because they are stunned and it gives you that opportunity to go in there in that time frame to start your combo with that heavy which in turn will net you overall more damage or quicker more, uh, damage when you are in super sand blue or any super sand transformation for that matter again we didn't transform in these rank matches right here because i was just really more focused on showcasing that first heavy hit and being able to land with that first heavy hit you guys already know about the buff that you do get on that heavy hit when you use a sand exclusive transformation besides like i said before super sand god so let me know if this is something that you are going to try to incorporate in your gameplay because like i said it can lead to overall more damage before your opponent uses their stamina or also quicker damaging combos at the same time so your opponent won't be able to gain as much stamina back through the normal route that you would go with like the five light six heavy compared to just the all heavy as i talked about and showcased earlier so again for things like that it is definitely useful and can be used off of key stuns also at the same time can be used if you're up close to your opponent and um you just use like a heavy combo to knock them to the ground and you're right next to them you can start it with a heavy because again they're on the ground or if you do the little sidestep around them when you are close to them and they like back hit or something like that and you make them whiff, you can then punish them with that heavy hit as well as a starting part of your combo, like I said before, to get that quick damage or to get more damage before they actually vanish as well. So again, let me know if this is something you guys will be incorporating or trying to incorporate to your Sans CAC gameplay because I truly do think it is something that can be very, very useful and can make you or take you to a little bit more of a higher step on this game because like i said before people will use their stamina and if you can do 2000 to 2500 damage before they use their stamina as opposed to 600 to a thousand like we showcased if we started our combos with the lights it definitely makes a difference as the match goes on you do that three times four times land your combo with that heavy starter and make them waste their stamina that way Overall, you probably racked up four to 5,000 more damage, which is half of a health bar by doing that as opposed to starting your combos with the light. So again, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But as always, man, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, hope y'all have a good one. Peace, y'all.